And hello, 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 and welcome back to some more European Missiles 4 Finnish Mega Campaign fun. And I'm not at war for once, so I can just rest on what I've got for a bit and make me some good trade chips, which should hopefully bring me in money. I'm getting a bit of money at the moment, though. Hmm, oh yeah, got the Manhattan Colony going as well. The Manhattan Colony. What's the capital? What is the capital of it? Um, Connecticut is the capital. Oh, interesting. Now, hopefully they start to, um, put down their own colonies soon as well. 30,000, like up to 55 tops. I really want my territory back. Damn you, France. And Livonia will be annexed in a couple of years. It'll take a bit of time. Gold! Wow, that's awesome. That's going at 65. That's going at 65 as well. I can do that, which will increase that, but I shouldn't because I can't really afford to. I could always possibly get a colony over here, though, because if I get a colony over there... What about here? Nope. Get a colony over here, then can allow me to go over into this direction. And Mali is really big and OP, and it's going to hurt a lot of people, I think. Um, ooh, a bunch of trade ships are done. Good. I want to take these ships together, put them over there. These ships over here. So, yeah, that's Caravel as well. Send them over there then, if that's the case. Need to get some new trade fleets going. Okay, this is going to be the trade fleet that operates through the Baltic Sea. This is going to be the one. How much money am I losing now? Not really much. How many sh more ships can I get? I can get a few more. Um, these guys will operate around Novgorod, so this is going to be, um, Novgorod Trade Fleet, because I'm very creative with my names, and this one's going to be called <laughs> Baltic Trade Fleet. Now hopefully that can increase my income a bit as well. Yep. 826, a new settlement. Eh, I'll be alright. I need to get my prestige up. I just struggling to get that up. In general. Um, rebels are pretty good at the moment. They're not really too antsy at me. Um, should I continue the conversion? Mm, might pass at the moment. I've got my religious unity slightly up though, by like one or two, I think. That's better than nothing. See how much trade are they did. 11.50. They're actually dictating qu quite a bit. Um, yeah. That's good. I could probably build a few new ships as well. I'm pretty tempted to. So I might actually do that. Um, build a few more. Mainly so I can dictate things through the Baltic. I don't lack for ships at the moment. Oh, wait a second. Yeah, send this one to the Baltic as well, then. Who's ruling the Baltic Sea area? It's still the Lithuanians. Okay. Damn France. <laughs> they need to get some more rebellions on their hands. That'd be fantastic. I've got Bavaria as an ally now, though. That's alright. I'll take that. Who have I got diplomatic relations with? A whole bunch of people. Okay. Can I actually annex Chernigov? Well, not annex them, but vassalize them. They would be keen for the audit for it. Ah, uh, Mogliev is now caught as well. I can do this westernization thing, but I think I'll pass. Annexing Livonia should help things along a bit, though. The Kyrgyz, should they allied with Kiva as of Artil? Azov is allied with the Asherons, Cherzon, and Kyrgyz. I'm thinking, thinking, let me think. Cherzon would not honor the court of war. I've wanted Barmut for a while. The team would be very good as well. So we're going to um, work a claim on Bamut, because I don't think we have one. We did have one, but we don't want any more. So fabricate me a claim on... Bermut. The Asherons are fairly powerful as well. They're going to work war with Kiev, France, Middle Frankie, and Anjou. 
AG. Who accepted peace? Azov made peace. Damn it, you've thrown away my awesome plans. Jerks. Itilo Zala with Cherzon, Kyrgyz, Kipchak, and the Chai. Actually, what is their trade value? Oh, Russia and Fingo now have issues. Well, it's got a bit to it. So it might actually make practical sense to take this place. Hmm. Okay, well, it might work one on that territory instead. So I'm going to cancel that claim fabrication over here. And I'm going to get one over here instead. Saratsin or Tsarasan, Tataristan, whatever it's called. Yet work a claim. Might get a claim on Sarai as well. Potentially. I'll think about it. Sarkel's allied with the Ashrons and the Kipchak as well. Russian Kiev are at war. What sort of rebels are those? Kievan peasants, Kievan peasants. Just hoping France just collapses. Come on, collapse France. You know you want to. Do it. The War of Andalusia still. Did they declare them? I can't remember. Serbia and Andalusian crusade against Serbia. Yeah, that was never going to work. It was unlikely. Ugh, I just boosted up again. Muscovite separatists being a bit pissed off. Are they ever? Oh, what's the religion spread like in my own realm? Probably about time we got this converted. What's the development like? Oh, they've caught me in the axe. Well, I thought they probably would. So that's not so surprising. Royal marriage ended with a vassal. If, well, Lithuania, sorry, Livonia. Yes, you can have a new one. Now, I want to send these chaps to Novgorod trade route and these guys to the Baltic trade route as well. Anything to increase all that? Increase the trade power. Oh yeah, wait a second, that's still held by Livonia as well. Sweet. Manhattan, oh, not again. Stop it. Stop, stop being naughty. I might actually block this off over here, and once I've got that blocked off, I can then start filling in the rest of the gaps, as it were. Should we some? Do we have a conquistador still? We do. He's not half bad as well. Send him. Oh, the Sussan Sussan knock? Quack? I'm not sure. Ah, oh, just move in there. Do it. Excellent Viceroy is more global tariffs. Sweet. Am I getting any global tariffs yet? I'm getting a few. Not many, but I'm getting a few. Getting that random African province over here would probably help that, to be fair. Nobody has still colonized this area. Wow. Oh, wait a second. Is that England? It is England. English West Indies has been established. I should probably try to get territory over there myself. Hmm. What am I trying to do? Oh, I'm trying to get... Where am I trying to get the colony? Completely forgot about that one. Etch. Have I spelled that wrong? I have spelled that wrong. Seriously, where is it? I actually can't say it. <laughs> where is it? <laughs> I can't say it. Because <laughs> I'm clearly blind. Um. Oh, it's over here. Oh yeah, I can do that. Once I get um, this colony done, Manhattan, or even this one over here, I'll send that bloke over there then. You know, get that done. Alrighty then. Mermon is still allied with Chernigov. I'm intent to have a dig at them for a while as well. Who's a vassal? Sarkel is a vassal of the Kipchaks. Probably a smart choice. Ah, damn it, I was going to attack them eventually as well. These guys are just annoying. I don't know why, but they just annoy me. I think they could challenge me, though. 920. So I do have a bit of an increase in trade income. It's alright. I'll take that. 1218. Okay, that's getting better and better. 
the Kazan trade route. Do I completely control that? Well, well, I hold a fair bit of it, that's for sure. Now I can probably s afford to start dictating trade a bit more. Um, let me think. Trade building, trade building. How much will it cost to put one there? Where is the trade? Ah, there it is. Good. Yep, send it that. If I can increase it more, I will. Mm, increasing taxes. I can increase taxes a bit. But it doesn't really increase my income that much. Not massively. Okay, it says it'll give me 0 0.6. This building will increase monthly income by such and such. Oh god, let me think. Let me think. Uh, I have no idea. No idea, man. Oh, I could just do it over here to Nova. It actually does make sense. Um, forts do cost money. I might avoid that. Workshop effic efficiency. Oh, sweet. I'm getting a lot more money now, so I can afford to splash it a bit. Just trying to think where else I can increase trade flow. Oh, wait a second, probably in Stockholm. Didn't even think about that. No, oh, is that already built? Built, is it? What's going on? What's going on? Oh, I can increase the fort level if I want to. Okie dokie. No, cancel. That call is nearly done. The annexation won't take too much longer as well. 1620, so a bit over a year away. It's like that. Iceland, are they still Catholic? Yeah, they are. I'm kind of half hoping they actually establish some colonies over here. They could, that could make things entertaining. Let me think. I can't really attack any of the Catholics because they're too powerful. Oh, what's going on over here? It's occupied by Bohemia. Why is Bohemia fighting France, I wonder? Attack against Kiev, second Russian conquest of Kiev. They're just smart. They just keep declaring very intelligent wars. It's good stuff. Is France still involved in two? No, it's involved in just one now. Well, Ross, you're not going to be there for much longer, I don't think. What's the trade value like over here? Is it good? Yeah, it's decent. Interesting. Interesting. Indeed. Yeah, I think I'm definitely going to put a colony over here. For sure. Wait a second. Did he end up checking that out? He did. There's a bit of a gap there. Though I can probably gamble with it for the moment. Or I can maybe get multiple colonies going as well. It's always an option. Should I put a fortress out here? Maybe should. Wait a second, do I, how many forts do I have around here? Should check that out first. There's a fort over here, but if I put a fort over here... Grasslands... Okay, I might put a fort over there. Now, how much will a fortress cost me? Uh, a lot, apparently. I don't know why it costs so much, but it does. Is it because the area's already got a fortress? I'm not sure. Let me let me check this out, actually. I'm going to bring this up. I'm going to unpause that, though, because that just drags things along. 202. 302. It's really expensive over there. Okay, well, maybe that's not really an option, then. How about, um, taxation? It's not necessarily a cheap either. No. Not at all. My manpower ooh. That wasn't smart. I wouldn't have done that if I was, if I was you guys. That, that that wasn't very prudent. Now if we get a war of Azov, we'll drag in the Asherons. Not sure what their manpower's like. Uh it's maybe a bit risky. Might be better for attacking the Kyrgyz. Yeah, I think the Kyrgyz is probably the better option. 
Um, what claims do I have at the moment? Bashkoristan. Kipchaks will jump in as well. So Chernigov. Um, get me a claim on um, what has the better economic? Yeah, it might just go Kurgan, I think. Work me a claim on Kurgan. Work me a claim on Kurgan. And I might have a crack at them next. Gonna be prudent. Make sure I know who I'm declaring wars on. These guys as well. Might be able to wrangle three provinces out of that as well if I'm if I'm clever enough. Actually, might just get a war of Artil and maybe just pinch that province in the war as well. That actually might be better. Just gonna cancel that. Saving the effort. What sort of... has that got good? What am I getting from there? Wool... What has that got? Grain? Oh, you can always have more grain. Grain's always good. I'm going to slowly peck away at them as well. How much money are you making? 527. Trade fleets are doing really well. Um, Not quite ready to start doing trade through in the Americas yet, because really there's not really enough um, established provinces there. Once there is, it's something I can look forward to. Though I don't think it's going to get colonized as much. Pure honesty. That one's nearly done. That'll be done in probably about a year or so. I would imagine. Is that getting gold as well? Oh, sweet. Why don't you go check out those guys and then go back to that province? Yep, do that. You only got Livonia annexed as well, finally. Long term vassal. Long term friends, but it is about time you became part of the realm. They've got a Regency Council anyway. Oi, Serima. They did lose a bit of territory earlier, that was a bit annoying, but couldn't do much about that. Nearly annexed. Ugh, nearly annexed. Come on. Yay! They're annexed. Good. This will be known as the Livonian Army. Ugh. So much creativity in these names. So now we hold all of that. That's good. It gives me a border of Lithuania, more of a border of Lithuania, which does has have advantages and disadvantages to it. You get more troops as well. Um, send the next colonist uh, over here. I guess I'm actually going to send the next colonist over here. I wasn't doing that originally, but I am now. Once this guy's done, I'm going to send him over here. And I might send a colonist over here to get that colony done. Uh, I reckon that makes sense. Yeah, makes sense. So what I'm going to do is, do I have any um, transport ships? I do have some transport ships. Only one. I need two more transport ships. It cost me a bit. It won't cost me that much money. Actually, it's pretty cheap. I'll get them pre-built for when I need them. But yeah, that'll probably do for the moment though. Um, I hope you all enjoyed yourselves, and if you did, please hit the like and subscribe and comment. And as always, bye bye!